Hey, hey, YouTube. Um, this is Brad, procrastinating. I should be packing right now because I am about to be traveling. Um, but instead, I picked up the base and started messing around. And I kind of noticed something or found something that I think is going to help me and maybe some of y'all um, find scale shapes a little easier. Um, or like find continuations of scale shapes a little easier. So what I was doing is playing through an A minor scale. Um, so like, actually I was playing A minor pentatonic. I was, was not even a whole A minor scale, but um, I expanded it to the whole thing. So anyway, uh, I was going through just like, through that right and I started doing octaves so like and so already that gets you that shows you like where the next position is for each of those notes and yeah we'll just skip these because they don't have the nice over you know two down two over um, kind of progression, but like, even still, you know, within these four strings, you've got that shape. Um, and then I started doing sevenths. I was like, octaves and sevenths. Uh, Yeah, I was, well, yeah, it is a minor seven, so, yeah. And so on and so forth. And so I was like, wow, okay, cool. That's actually, you could make something musical off of just that scale shape. And, you know, people have been talking about, like, there's, tens of thousands of YouTube videos talking about like, learn this scale, then you can play melodically. It's like, okay, that's true. If you already have good musical instincts. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just something I noticed, um, an easy way to find the next positions on the neck um, is, is just playing with octaves. Uh, so, I hope that helps. Um, like I said, I am absolutely procrastinating. Should be packing right now. Should not have a base in my hand. Um, I'm going to get going. Happy Thanksgiving again. See y'all later.